Hi, I'm Jim Bob, and I'm here today to teach you how to make a forge and some ingot molds and some of the real barebone basics of forging. So let's get to it. The first thing you're going to need for your forge is a whole crap load of rocks. So we're going to do that right now. We're going to pick up as many rocks as we can. Just run around, pick them up. That's what we do. These big ones, you can only kill with like pickaxes and various things like that and it generally gives you iron anyway so kind of useless playing with those oh there's a rock there's one I don't remember how many I need to actually do this but okay what's in front of this rock maybe it's not real they've added the smooth terrain and the smooth terrain is actually really really nice okay more rocks oh there's another rock another rock we probably got enough now. Let me check. Yeah, I got 11 rocks. That should be enough. Okay, next thing we're going to need for this. Actually, I'm going to skip ahead a step, being we're outdoors. We need some dirt. Now, if you try and punch dirt with your hand, it's going to take a while. So, use the axe that I showed you how to make in the last episode. I think it takes you nine whacks with one of these things in order to get a dirt. <laughs> now, the reason why I'm doing this is every once in a while, when you get a dirt, you'll also get a clay. Now, we didn't get lucky with that one, so we're going to try again. But even if you don't get lucky, keep the dirt, because I believe you can still just place it down, break it, place it down, break it. It's like an infinite source of clay. Okay, we didn't get lucky with that one either. And I'll show you what I mean by infinite source of clay. We're just going to take the dirt that we already whacked, and we're just going to place it down here. And then you could whack it again. And sometimes you'll get lucky and you'll get a clay. So we're going to try this a couple more times. If this doesn't work, I'll show you the other way to get clay. Come on. What did we get? We just got dirt again. We're not getting very lucky. Usually one out of three shots I get this. But irregardless, I'll show you the other way to make clay if I have to. Okay, one more time. We're going to get this. Put it down, put it down. I should have made myself a shovel, but you don't make a shovel until you've got a forge anyway, so let's just do this. Come on, come on, come on. More dirt. I am not getting very lucky with this clay. Come on. Come on. We are not getting lucky here. What is it? Did they change the recipe? Do you need a recipe for clay now? I doubt it. We're going to keep doing this until we get it. Or until I get tired of it and make it the other way. But I'm going to show you both ways anyways. Come on. There we go. Clay. Nope, we're not going to bother with him. I'm just going to show you the other way to make clay. That's to go into a house... Search the cupboards until you find cornmeal. And you use a cornmeal and you use a bottle of water and that will make a lump of clay. And there you go, you have five lumps of clay now. And with this clay that you dug up, you just do this and you get a lump of clay that way. You get a few more there, so let's make one more of these lumps. I'm in creative mode because I'm just showing you how to do all this. Now the last piece of the puzzle we need is a pipe. You need a pipe in order to make a forge. And I've sourced one over here. You can find these air conditioners beside houses or on top of roofs. This one I already know there is one in here. So we're going to take that. And now I'm going to show you the other place you can get one. If there is one in the house. I imagine there's one in the house. But you want to find yourself a toilet. If you find a toilet... Right there, you can see the pipe. These things are a little bit of a bugger to try and destroy. I don't know if you have to actually hit the pipe or whether you can just hit the toilet. But this could take quite a while, I think. <laughs> I don't know how many wax it takes with one of these things to get that pipe. Or whether you have to hit the pipe or whether you can hit the toilet. There we go. And you get a short iron pipe from that. 
So those are the two common places to get pipes from in order to build your forge. Now we'll go back outside for a little bit of light. And we'll start crafting. So, in order to craft your forge, I know you need one of those. And it'll show up here. You can actually see what you have to do, sort of. The pipe goes on that. Then I believe you just put stones all in the rest of this. And right there you got a forge. Voila! So, let's put our forge down. Oof. Now before you can do anything with it, and I'll just get into the menu and show you, you're going to need a mold. Can't really do much with it without a mold. So that's what we're going to do. But we can put some fuel in there, I believe. Oh, maybe it won't let me put the fuel in there. Do I need to put something other than a cut log? Okay, those were like creative mode cut logs, so they're probably not going to work. I'm going to take my trusty hatchet here and chop down a tree the real way and we'll see if we get what we want this way come on come on preparation <laughs> it's time for preparation come on okay we ever would now to make the molds all it is is you'll recognize this shape from minecraft it's basically like building a boat and what you get for the mold, this is a brass ingot mold, what you get for the mold depends on where you build your little boat. Down one is lead, down another one I believe is iron. Come on, give me. And we need one of those. I want one of those. And I believe one more is probably copper. Tungies, tungsten. Oh, we'll make one of those too. So once you got your mold, then you go right into your furnace. And this is our iron ingot mold, so we'll put our mold in. And we put our logs in too. Now we've got fuel for our fire. And we'll take some of these things. These are some things that give you scrap iron. Car filters. And then you just craft them into scrap iron, hubcaps. Hub, hub caps. Okay, I mustn't have grabbed all this. Okay, there we go. Hub caps can also be turned into it. Um, there's a whole bunch of other things that you can experiment with. But what you basically do is you then take them, you put it in there. And you'll see the progress bar here, and it'll turn into ingots. And it takes quite a while to do this. So we're going to wait till we have a couple of these just so we can get a general idea of what to do. I'll build one item before I call it quits. Let's see, a shovel I think takes four. Pickaxe takes four. I'm trying to think of something that takes fewer ingots. I guess we're going to need a minimum of four, so we'll leave that to cook. We'll check this mail. Let's check our mail. What do we got? Nothing. Okay. Back to the forge. Um, there we go. How many ingots do we got? We got two ingots now. We probably can't craft anything really all that great. We should take some of our wood back. Take half of it. Because generally you need something to build with. We'll craft all that into boards. We'll craft a few of these into sticks. So what can we make with this? Not a whole lot. Oh, we can make a fire axe. Okay, that'll be my item that I'll show you how to make, because that chops down trees a lot better. So there we go. We take our two ingots, and there we have a fire axe. That's the basics of how you do it. Now let's give a just a really quick test. See how long it takes to chop this tree down. Probably a lot faster than the other axe. Oh yeah. A lot faster than the other axe. So if you enjoyed this video, in the next video, or next videos, I'll be getting into how to create guns and ammo and all that kind of fun stuff and armor. So if you enjoyed this video, please let me know. Subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thank you, and I'll see you later.